Hey everybody, this is uh, Mr. Math Blog, and this lesson is 11.1, .1, Writing Equations to Represent Situations. So here's our, our common course strand for our most groovy teachers right there. And then our question is, uh, how do we write equations and determine whether a number is a solution of an equation? So equations, think of uh, equals, you guys. Equal means equations, okay? All right, so determine whether the values are solutions. So an equation is a math statement that, uh, uh, that states that uh, two expressions are equal to each other. So an equation may or may not contain a variable. A variable is a letter. Typically it's X, but it could be P or Q or H, depending on the situation. So for an equation that contains a variable, a solution of the equation is a value of the variable that makes that equation true. Okay. So for example, we're going to uh, do some expressions and change those to equations. So so a numerical expression is like 5 plus 4. So the equation that would represent that would be 5 plus 4 equals 9. Okay, so I'm going to put up my little pointer here. So this equals thing right here says that this will be an equation right here. And the 5 plus 4 is called an expression. Okay, so words, you guys, let's try words here. So a number plus 4. So if we wrote that into an equation, the number plus 4 is 9, okay? So like 5 would be the answer. 5 plus 4 is 9, okay? N plus 4 is algebra, okay? So if we expressed, these are all the same right here. So if we exp um, uh, uh, expressed it as numerals or uh, numbers, 5 plus 4, here's an equation, 5 plus 4 equals 9. In words, a number plus 4 so it's an equation, the number plus 4 is 9. Is is the same as equals in math. So algebra, n plus 4 would be, over here, n plus 4 equals 9, okay? And so the is is the same thing as equals. So here we want to see if uh, uh, the given value is a solution to the equation. So what we're going to do is plug in x equals 6 right here and it's 6 plus 9 equal to 15 and if it is then yes this is a solution so is 6 plus 9 equal to 15 and sure 15 uh, e does equal 15 6 plus 9 equals 15 so 6 is a solution to the equation x plus 9 equals 15 okay so now we're going to plug in uh, y equals 8 right here so y over 4 okay so when we do that well, did i say y over 4 8 over 4 so 8 over 4 is the same as 8 divided by 4. So when we divide 2, now 2 doesn't equal 32, so 8 is not a solution of the equation. y over 4 equals 32. Okay, so now we're going to uh, plug in x equals 9 right here. So 8x is the same as 8 times x. So is 8 times 9 equal to 72? And yeah, 8 times 9 does equal to 72. Okay, so um, that tells us that 9 is the solution to the equation 8x equals 72. All right, so here's an application problem. Mark scored 17 points for the home team in a basketball game. His other teammates uh, as a group scored P points. Okay, so write an equation to represent this situation. Okay, so we have Mark's score plus the teammate's score uh, equals the total score. So Mark's score is 17, so this will be 17, plus we're going to say P for his teammate's score, so 17 plus P equals the total points. Okay, so he was on the home team, so it's going to equal that 46 right there. Okay, so when we plug that in, there's our equation right there. So P represents the number of points that his teammates made. Okay, so let's write an equation to represent each situation. So the sum of a number, sum is addition, you guys. The sum of a number F and 9, so F plus 9, equals 38, is equal to 38, okay? The product, product means multiply. The product of 17 and a number N is equal to 102. So when we do product with a variable, we just put the, the variable right next to the, the number. So 17n equals 102. Okay, that means 17 times n. All right, Craig is C years old. Um, uh, let's see, his his 12-year-old uh, friend, Caitlin, is a half a year younger than Craig. Okay, so what we're going to do is, is we know Caitlin is 12 years old. And uh, she's a half a year younger than Craig. So 
So Craig's age, which is this, minus the half a year will give us Caitlin's age right there because she's a half a year younger. So that would be C minus one half equals 12. Okay, a little tricky on that one. Okay, so Kim rents skates for eight hours. The rental fee was 25 per two, I'm sorry, $2.50 per hour. Now per typically means multiply in math. So what we're gonna do is, um, uh, if she does it for 250 per hour and she does it for H hours, then it's going to be 2.5 H, 2.50 H, but 2.50 is the same as 2.5. So 2.5 H, let's see, what did I do? So yeah, and that equals uh, how much she paid all together. Okay, one more application problem. Okay, so Sarah used a gift card to buy $47 worth of food. She has $18 uh, on her gift card left after she spent that $47. So write an equation to represent this situation and then we'll use it to determine whether Sarah had $59 or $69 on the gift card before she spent that $47. So let's write a word uh, equation based on this. Okay, so the amount of the card, which is what we don't know, uh, minus the amount spent and then up here it says that she spent uh, used a gift card to buy $47. So that's how much she's going to be spending right here. That's going to equal the amount on the card uh, 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 left that's on the card, okay? And they say right here that she has $18 left on the card right there. So this will be 18. This will be 47. And we'll let this one be the variable right here, okay? So let's rewrite the equation using variables for the unknown quantity and give the value for the unknown quantity. So let's let x be the amount on the card because that's what we're looking for right there. So the same setup we have up there. So the amount on the card minus the $47 she spent is going to equal the $18 left. Okay, now what we're going to do is substitute in. Did she have $65 or $59 let, uh, uh, for X to see which equation is true? Because up here, I don't know why I wrote it 65 first and 59 second, because up here we have 59 first and 65 second. But I did, so I'm going to solve it this way. Put in 65 right here, put in 59 right here, and see which one gives us $18. Okay, so let's substitute those in. So 65 minus 47, what's that equal? Well, that equals 18. So she, hit, um, And then if we did 59 minus 47, that only equals 12. So uh, the amount on the card that Sarah had before she bought food was that $65 right there. Okay, hey, uh, what if, uh, suppose Sarah had uh, $12 left on her card, how much would this uh, change the equation in the final answer? Okay, well, she had $12 left on her card, that would have been right here, so 59 minus 47 equals 12. So if she had $12 on the card, then she would have spent um, uh, $59, um, uh, the answer would have been $59 is how much she would have spent on that. All right, you guys, hope that makes sense. And Scooby-Doo is one of my favorites. Take care, you guys.